Sutar's videos start off just roasting like Leafy and then turns into a whole goddamn life lesson. <sighs> oh yeah? Goddamn life lesson? Is that what this channel is? Am I a life lesson channel now? Uh, first life lesson, uh, don't, don't take life lessons from faceless YouTubers hiding behind a stick figure avatar. You, you need better role models in your life. I, your dad should be getting back with that gallon of milk any day now. I swear, you know, just keep waiting by the front door. He'll be walking through there any second. But while we wait for him, I suppose we could start the, the actual video. You know, we could start the YouTube equivalent of the Holy Bible because... That's what this video is about to be. It's going to be absolutely incredible, life-changing stuff. Thousands of years from now, people will look back on this video and go, How can one man be so based and so mentally ill at the same time? How can I still smell him through my screen thousands of years later? Why does the camera zoom out from the gameplay while he's talking? Yeah, the people love me. Um, I'm pretty famous in the future. Pretty big deal uh, out there. Um, I don't know if you guys know that, but like a, a big dude in like a thousand years you know i've got like a, a lot of followers and people commit crimes in my name it's pretty sick and it's all because of my central guiding philosophical philosophical philosophy philosophy philosophical that's what philosophical guiding principle of life you know you have nerds over here like beverly jenkins saying a man is only as strong as the woman who holds him you know no that's bullshit a man is only as strong as the ham sandwich he puts in his stomach. And that's just a fact. That is a undeniable fact of the universe. Ham sandwiches are something people from all walks of life consume. Well, maybe not vegans, but I wouldn't really consider those people, so I guess my, my point still stands. I don't know why I clarified that. Not eating ham or consuming ham sandwiches would be like walking up to Jesus Christ himself, looking him directly in the eyes and asking, Hey bro, wanna, wanna go queue up some Valorant later? I don't think there's a worse thing you could possibly do. Not eating ham sandwiches in my eyes is the most blasphemous thing a human being could do. Well, except for one thing. There's one thing that's worse than not eating ham sandwiches. Only one thing. Um, and I need everyone who's listening to this video to listen to me very carefully. I need you to be taking notes. There's going to be a test on this later. Honey does not belong on ham. Honey does not go anywhere near slices of the holy meat. The holy shmeat does not need to be lathered in bee juices. You, you don't need to do that. Well, I, I want to have something sweet with my meat. I want, I, want, I, I want some sweetness. Go get some fucking candy, you child, you infant, you toddler. Leave the sacred shmeat, the shakered shmeaty, alone. Leave it alone. You know, there's bound to be a few honey roasted hammers in my uh, in my audience watching this right now, and that really makes me sad. It 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 really it it depresses me. It's not it's not too late to see the error of your ways and repent for your sins. Um, all you need to do is send me six hundred and seventy five dollars by certified mail. My address will be in the description. It's twitter.com slash suteries. Um, yep, that's my mailing address. If you just throw six hundred and seventy five dollars on there. Put that on the envelope and throw it in the mail. It'll get to me. And then once I receive your payment, I'll make sure to put in a good word for you with the uh, the holy shmeat upstairs. You know the uh, the the guy the guy in the sky. You know the the shmeat at the smorgasbord. You know you know what I mean. Well uh, well sutar well uh, uh if eating honey roasted ham is so bad then what kind of ham is good? What should I put on my ham sandwiches? You know I am very glad you asked. The original concept that I had for this video was I was gonna make a ham sandwich tier list and my little ADHD riddled brain was going. You need to add every single ham sandwich in existence or else it's not a ham sandwich tier list. What about the ham sandwich that has the, the mayo on it, but also tomatoes? But what, what if the tomatoes get removed? Then you need to also have one that has the mayo, the tomatoes, and without the mayo and the lettuce. Yeah. Dude, my mind was like folding in on itself. As funny as it would have been to import 20,000 images of ham sandwiches into a tier list making website, that's way too much work. Lifting more than one finger every two and a half hours is way more calories than I should be expending. And like the, the classic commentary YouTuber that I am, I'm gonna take the easy way out. No, 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 no. I meant just going on Google Images and just talking shit until we hit the eight minute mark. The value menu at McDonald's has really been calling to me. I uh, could use the ad revenue. Hey, let's level for a second, dude. Like, I get it. I understand. Whole wheat bread, it's a lot healthier for you. You're, you're getting stronger and healthier, bigger, 
nice nice bones you know bones that will allow you to not crumple to the floor and enable you to exist on the plane of existence of existing but it sucks it, it tastes like shit when i look at a sandwich and i see this i get pissed off this pisses me off this makes me mad i, I still I, I don't know what the, like is this like is this dangerous that they just put on the bread i don't I, what is this? They are coarse particles of some kind of grain, often cornmeal, but in this case, maybe wheat as cornmeal is usually yellower. Also, it makes the bread look more rustic and more homemade. I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty with you, feller. This does not make it look more rustic and homemade. It just makes me feel like you just brushed out all the dandruff in your hair and you put it on the bread and called it a day. What the fuck is this? Ham and cucumber sandwiches? Cream cheese? Cucumber rounds? Are you telling me ham and cucumber sandwiches actually have cucumber in them? I I'm I'm sorry, this just this just sounds awful. Oh, uh, hell yeah, more dandruff bread. Hell yeah there, failure. Got that dandruff bread unlocked, hell yeah. Now this this looks like a sandwich right here. Not really fucking with the sour cream. Nah, definitely not fucking with that pickle relish. I, but overall, I mean, this is a nice sandwich. Like, let's just be real. Like, this is this is pretty nice. I would eat this. I'd give this a solid like nine out of ten. <laughs> what is what, are, what? What is this? What is this Photoshop? What is this? I'm sorry. What is the what is the point of putting the pickles on top of the sandwich? Not like on the top of the sandwich and the inside, like just on top. It's like if you're gonna go to eat the sandwich, you have to take the toothpick out anyways, and to get the toothpick out, you have to take the pickles off. Why not just put them on the side of the plate? That's where they're gonna end up anyways. I am really not a fan of food that is presentation over function. Like I, I want my food in my stomach. It, it all, it all looks the same down in there. It, it doesn't matter if you put a little fucking bow on the top or dress it up in some Phase Clan merch or throw some pickles on the toothpick. Like it, it's all gonna end up down there anyways. As long as it doesn't look like a pile of literal dog shit. If the presentation gets in the way of me putting the food down my throat. Don't do it. I'm gonna have to give this one probably like a 3 out of 10, 4 out of 10. If I went into someone's house and they served me this, I'd probably think less of them. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. This looks good as fuck. Oh, no. Is this what I think it is? Oh, no. It's Brit- this, These are British sandwiches? I'm sorry. Can't do it. I'm sorry. California-style ham sandwich recipe. What, wait, what makes this California style? Oh, <laughs> the avocado slices. Okay, I see. Avocado is kind of overrated, not gonna lie. It's just, avocado is just okay. I would probably say this is gonna be like a five out of 10, but the, the bread kind of ruins it. So this one's probably a three or a four. What the fuck is this? Who emptied a can of wet cat food onto some bread and called it a ham sandwich? What the fuck is this? No, 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 stop. Why? Why are you doing this? Why? No! Stop! What? No. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. This is the lady behind this, this fucking abomination. Literal devil reincarnate. What did you do to my baby? What? What did you do? You massacred her. What is this? This actually might be worse than honey roasted ham. A tasty alternative to a traditional ham sandwich. The pineapple mixture has a good balance of sweet and savory, and someone who really likes sweet and salty combos would really enjoy this. You are mentally ill. Wonderful recipe. My husband doesn't like Swiss cheese, but agreed that everything works together in these sandwiches to result in a very tasty treat. I hope your family dis inherits you and you are left homeless on the street begging for slices of sweetened ham i do not like you